Hello, welcome back to Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave of Comic Book Goodness. Uh, another somewhat of a news video, um, video game related. It seems that Activision, EA, and Ubisoft try to outdo themselves for being the absolute most garbage companies on Earth. EA with the whole gambling thing with um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Activision with all the sexual assault shit, and Bobby Kotick still in charge, and uh, Ubisoft now pulling games, digital games from Steam that people paid full price for. Um, yesterday, no, two days ago, Ubisoft announced that on September 1st, a slew of games, most notably this one in HD, Assassin's Creed The Liberation HD, would be pulled from Steam, or their servers would be shut down, which means the DRM wouldn't work if the game has a D. I think, I'm, I don't know, this is all technical stuff. So I'm trying to do it right. I've read a few things and watched a few videos. We won't be able to play your game. You paid 60 bucks for a game to download it onto Steam, and Ubisoft is pulling stuff, and you won't be able to play it until... Uh, you, you got to finish your games before September 1st, basically, and your DLC and all that fun stuff. Today, uh, what's today? The 13th, lucky number 13... Ubisoft announced that it isn't revoking access to owned games. Da, 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 da. Uh, it's called a miscommunication, and uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation will be still available on Steam for current owners. So I'm going to assume Ubisoft, Ubisoft, I don't know how you say it, whatever, soft, is going to start pulling their older games off Steam. I mean, Assassin's Creed Liberation came out a while ago. 2012. A decade. Oh my god, this is 10 years old. Okay, 10 years old. How old is this one? Teeny tiny, teeny tiny. 2007. Oh my god, it's 15 years old. Anyways, back to the, the problem at hand. This is why I hate digital games. I mean, Ubisoft got a bunch of backlash, I'm sure, on social media because that's where cave dwellers sit. And uh, have rolled it back. Like, they're probably going to take away, I don't know, if they added multiplayer functionality to this. Let's see, not just one player. Oh, Oh, you can do competitive shit. Uh, see, I don't care about that. I just want to be able to play my campaign, like, right here. <clears throat> if they pull all these, and I bought them not physically, I'd be pissed. Let's just say 50 bucks a game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Five hundred dollars. Holy shit, I didn't pay that much for all these because I buy shit on sale. I mean, I got this one for nine bucks because they released it broken. I mean, come on. Um, and all the other ones I got, like all the, the ones I really want to play but don't have the time for right now, I think I'm, yeah, see, it's got the little sticker on it, the Walmart, like, buy for $15, the Black Friday, you know, treat this was on sale, you know, they all get on sale, but if you pay full price, you know, because some people are still stupid enough to pre-order, don't, A, don't pre pre-order games, B, buy them physically, and C, we got to keep telling these companies to sod and fuck off. If we buy it digitally, it's us. It's ours, and we own it. But that's why I'm a huge physical-only person. If I get a game, like <clears throat> when I wrote for the gaming website and was getting a bunch of uh, reviews, review copies, I would still wait. Like if Gamefly had it on sale, 10, 20 bucks, I'd still buy a physical copy. Like Catherine's one of those games, I got to review it, the, the upscaled PS4 version. I found a copy, just in case. Um... Outer Worlds. It was free on Game Pass. It probably still is. I let mine expire because eggs are like 100 bucks and you have to hunt them. Um, but when it hit Gamefly, I bought it just to have a copy. But now I'm starting to get worried. you got to start buying the complete editions to get all the DLC. Like, I know Outer Worlds has DLC. It's not on my disc. I haven't purchased it yet. I'm waiting for a sale. But I want to play it. Outer Worlds is a great game. And I don't want to lose my ability to play these games. Like, right now, I can pop this puppy in and still play it. I'll just take my Xbox offline. And it should still play. But this is long before DRMs. 
But, like, Odyssey, Origins, and Valhalla might have that DRM bullshit. So, let's hope they don't. Because, I mean, they're all still sealed. I still haven't beaten Assassin's Creed Black Flag, for Christ's sake. That's how far behind I am on this. Last one I beat was 3, because I just liked that era, and it was sweet. Fighting alongside George Washington and stuff. So I need to get back on this one. I got it for the PS4. Like, they had it for 5 bucks, but I still have a physical copy just in case. Because... Ubisoft being a bunch of pricks. But yes, physical all the way. I mean, we saw this with movies with uh, No Way Home. When No Way Home came out, none of the Spider-Man movies were streaming. And you could only watch them if you had a VHS tape, a DVD, or you just somehow bought the Blu-ray before the hype hit. So what do you think? Are you physical only? Because I am very much physical only. If I get a download, I buy it. Like DuckTales. Remember DuckTales? Just Google that. Buy physical. Sawed off. Just tell Steam to sawed off if you can't have the game. I have like one Steam game in my library. I had to review it and it sucked. It was some hippie bullshit. But uh, what do you think? Are you, I don't think that we are actually to the point where we'll go digital only because of crap like this. I'm not paying 60 bucks for a game, which A, should be cheaper because you don't have to fucking package it or ship it out. And B, I want to own it and look at it. I'd be like, hey, I own this game. This game with the, you know, the Skull People and shit. Oh, man. Just also Google the fucking the, the glitches in this. They're hilarious. But yes, thank you for watching. Fuck Ubisoft. Fuck Activision. Fuck EA. Just make good games and stop fucking with the gamers. Bye.